So YouTube has decided to remove the public dislike counter on all videos. Let's talk about it. So this was announced yesterday. YouTube put up a video as well as a blog post and uh, I have a lot of opinions about this. So I kind of just wanted to make a video going over what I think about it. I want to know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. So let me know, but yeah, so apparently a few months ago, YouTube was doing an experiment to hide the dislike counter on videos. So you'd be able to see the like, how many likes a video got, but not how many dislikes. When I first saw the announcement, I was like, okay, why are we doing this? I've never really had a problem with dislikes, but when you read the blog post, it basically says they're doing this to combat hate, disliking people. This is to help protect smaller creators from being like dislike bombed by trolls. And I just think they could have went a way better way about doing this. I, <sighs> dislike bombing videos and streams, I feel like is such a small percentage of what the dislike button is actually used for. I think it's kind of not the best move to like apply it to the entirety of YouTube. For example, and I feel like most people use YouTube this way, a lot of time when I search for a video, I immediately look at the like to dislike ratio. If I'm watching a tutorial or some sort of education video, if you see a dislike ratio that is way in favor of the dislikes, it's probably not a good video or not a good tutorial. It has incorrect information. So that's a signal to me to click off the video and check something else. It also protects against scams. If the video is about a scam and you can't see the dislikes on the video, you have no idea that it's a scam or not and you actually have to watch the video. It's taking away information, it's taking away context, and I feel like it's just kind of hiding the problem. It's not really solving any problems. I always say you gotta have a pretty thick skin if you wanna be a content creator on really any social media platform. Like there's always going to be haters. You just have to be accustomed to it. I don't think making it feel safer really does anything. Like you're still gonna get hate comments. And I don't know, I feel like some people will even just shift into the comments more. Cause like the people who would just normally leave a dislike may just want to leave a hateful comment instead. So YouTube, what are you doing? What I like about the dislike button is it's not just a way to communicate to the creator that this is a bad video or the quality is bad. It's also a way to give your opinion. If you don't agree with what the creator is saying in the video, it's just another way to add that back and forth between the creator and the viewer. And I've heard a lot of people who say this is no big deal. They like the change, uh, say like, oh, just leave a comment. That's way better criticism. People won't, I feel like most people aren't gonna do that. You can leave a comment and that is better criticism, but I feel like people who would just dislike your video would just not interact with your video, which is less engagement on your video. And as far as I know, a like or dislike to YouTube is the same thing. So a like is a positive interaction with the video, but a dislike is also a positive interaction to spread it out to more people. Yes, it will possibly affect your personal recommendation. So if I dislike a video, I may not get recommended a similar video to that, but it's not really gonna stop other people from seeing the video. So I don't really get that argument. Also in the blog post, they talk about how other social media platforms don't have a dislike button. I guess if we're comparing Instagram or TikTok or Twitter, and while that is technically true, YouTube isn't really like those services. Those services are content recommendation sites. So the content's just like put in front of you and then you can choose to scroll away or just scroll to the next thing. Whereas YouTube is a search engine. You actually have to search and click on something. And if there's no dislike like ratio, you actually have to watch the video to see if it's something you would wanna watch. I would less compare YouTube to Instagram and TikTok and more to like Amazon or Etsy. Could you imagine if like Amazon took away like the ability to take, to do like one star reviews? That wouldn't fly well. Your 
investing your time in watching a video that you know that may or may not be good the same way that you're spending money on Amazon or Etsy to try out a product. As they always say, time is money. And I think the thing that's the most annoying about this change is, as much as they say they're trying to protect small creators, this doesn't feel like they're doing that. This feels like they're trying to protect big, large companies uh, from getting dislike ratioed when they post like, I don't know, scummy announcement videos. Like, this just happened after Nintendo posted their Switch Online expansion pack trailer, and I think it's at like 190,000 dislikes. It's, it's pretty up there. That wasn't a dislike bomb. That was thousands of individuals deciding that that is a bad deal and pushing the dislike button. Even YouTube has the most disliked video on the platform. I think that was the YouTube Rewind 2018. So like, I don't know, they could say that all they want, but it just feels like they're trying to protect the big companies. And, and YouTube also said while they're removing the public dislike count on the video, they're not removing the dislike button entirely. So creators can still see how many dislikes they receive in their YouTube studio analytics. And I don't think they're gonna be as useful as they were because you're just gonna be getting less engagement. I'll even give you an example of one of my videos. I posted a video, I think back in May when they announced um, Gibble Community Day for Pokemon Go. I basically made a video talking about why I wasn't the most happy about that happening because it was like a rare Pokemon and everybody's gonna be able to get the shiny. And I think that's that's one of, I don't know if it's my only or one of my few videos that has like more dislikes than likes. And that was really insightful for me to see that the people that watch my video don't agree with me. It was a very controversial announcement. So I guess what I'm trying to say is dislikes don't necessarily always mean I'm a hater and you're a content creator and you suck. It's also a way for users to voice their opinion without having to leave a comment on a video. And it's a nice visual cue to other users of YouTube how a particular video is viewed by the audience. It also leaves less accountability on the creator. So if there are no dislikes visible, the only way to give a criticism is to comment which comments can be deleted. <sighs> I feel like for some creators or for some companies, it can also be a way just to push their narrative. And the great thing about dislikes was you can't delete dislikes. They're just there. Because I feel for some videos, there deserves a negative reception to it. You can't, there's free speech, but you can't have free speech without consequences. I think when you really love or you're really passionate about something, you need to call out when things are bad calls. I really want YouTube to succeed and be the best platform it can be, but I don't think this decision is it. I hope they get enough backlash on this to not go through with it. I think as I'm recording this video, it's the day after, but I think I still can see dislikes on videos. But now, I want to know what you think in the comments down below. Do you like seeing dislikes on YouTube? Are you okay with them removing it? Are you happy they're removing it? And actually, use the like and dislike on this video. Like if you agree, and dislike if you don't. Okay, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for listening to my rant, and I will catch you in my next video.